China, what are you doing? Come follow me to a secret place where only the moon. Uh, okay, um, it's been an annual event, so uh, every year we train the kids for the school games or in the school games. So, um, myself and uh, two other teachers, we were handling the girls on um, netball and then we also trained them on volleyball so that is what we were doing that is why i was part of the team that was training the girls we are training for the netball volleyball and also soccer but it's very unfortunate one or two, uh, one or two players are not playing well but i'm hoping that on the 18th of november we are we'll be coming back to Afungwa with a cap or certificates. So so that's my hope. Mm -hmm. Hey, what am I doing for you? Hey, thank you for as usual. Uh, when you were a teacher, you see these kids always coming to you with complaints. Say, have you seen this person that done this to me? Say, have you? That was what just happened when I started the video. So, thank you very much for checking me out. Today is Friday, uh, 25th of October 2019. And uh, I'm in school as usual, you know, doing my, my daily work as a government teacher. So, um, today I decided to make a video to show you what exactly goes on here in my school as we prepare the kids towards um, the inter-school games. Alright, before that, you can see the shirt that I'm wearing. USM, University of University School of Milwaukee, or something. that is in the, in the United States. So, I met a brother, a friend, um, he's called William. Uh, William is a teacher in this school, so uh, we decided to link our kids together, you know, learning about our culture here in Ghana and learning about theirs in the United States. So we did an exchange. I, I sold him a nice African fabric and he also brought me this that represents his school. So as you can see in the video, uh, today we are having games, training the kids towards um, an event that happens every year. So when school resumes, there's something called inter-school games, all right, where various schools train their kids in athletics, uh, soccer, volleyball, netball. So the girls are training for the netball, and they will be playing the volleyball as well, while the boys are also now on the field training. Yeah, so uh, this is, you know, one thing that brings schools together, that brings teachers together, and it's also one way of... Um, discovering talent in these kids. Look at that guy. He doesn't want to go. Samson. Bye bye. Yummy, yummy, bye bye. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's a friend. He's called Samson, and I am Simpson. All right. So basically, that is what is happening today. Uh, most, some of the teachers are training the kids in in the net. But you saw male teachers training uh, the girls on how to play netball, right? Yeah. Kumba? How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Go. All right. So, yeah, that is it. Um, uh, <laughs> what am I even saying? Yeah, so uh, these games, you know, helps us to discover talent within this kit and also on earth. Uh, talent as well so uh, we are training we'll be going for the game so what happens is we will leave our school move to a different place and stay there with the kids for like five days Monday to Friday that is how we do the game so uh, basically when we go we either have to go and rent somebody's uh, apartment which is not always that conducive or we have to sleep in one of the classrooms yes that is what happens you say what yes you know, when we go for games, it is a circuit games, right? About 13 schools all coming to one, one venue, one point. So if this year we are organizing the program in my school, 
when those other schools come, then I have to make my classrooms available for them to sleep, right? Or they will have to go through the town and ask to get accommodation. Any way they want to do it, that is, <laughs> that is none of my business. Okay, so we are moving to a different place on the 18th of November. We are going with the kids and we have to feed them. Yes. So sometimes we need to go ask the parent to support us with some money or some food stuff. And then we take these kids depending on the number of participants. And usually we take about 30 to 40 students who will be doing soccer, athletics, netball, volleyball. Uh, yes, so we have to send them about, about 30 to 40 children to the place. We stay there and then we have to feed the kids. Sometimes help doesn't come, but as a teacher in a rural community, a head teacher in a rural community, sometimes you need to find a way of supporting your school that is why I, I usually appeal to friends on social media to support some of these things that I do because uh, without your support it will be very difficult for us to manage schools uh, in a rural community like this all right so basically that is what is going on I want you to enjoy uh, the videos of the kids training the teachers you know trying to teach them one or two things and all that so uh, if you're watching, let me know, do you have something like this in your country where uh, there's, there's a complaint coming up? Listen, there's a complaint. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, so I keep telling you, as a teacher in the school, you keep getting the complaints. He just told me, he just complained that somebody has thrown a stone at him. And I'm like, don't worry, don't, don't, you just forgive him, okay? That is all that I said. <laughs> and I have to go and check it out after making this video. So, yes, um, enjoy. And then let me know, as I was saying, let me know if there is something similar like this in where, where you are. If you're in Jamaica, Caribbean, Brazil, Netherlands, wherever you're watching me from, China, wherever you're watching me from, let me know if in your school or in, in your country there's such programs where people students will have to leave where they are to another community to participate in the games and you have to feed yourself the government doesn't come in and stuff like that hey so thank you for checking me out and shout out to vd and then shout out to nicholas you you have subscribed to my patreon account and i really enjoy it very much i really appreciate it thank you very much for supporting the movement so if you're watching keep subscribing and i'm bringing you my main idea is to bridge you know, close that gap between Africans in diaspora and Africans right here on the motherland. So thank you for checking me on Medassi. That subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace out. We are preparing the case for the inter-school games, which will be held at uh, Abra Jaban Krum, another community out uh, there. So we will go there and then we will stay there for like five days or the period that we will stay in the competition. And so we will go look for a place um, sleep there with the kids, feed them for that five days until we come back or we are done with the games. And so we normally have to find a way to feed them or support them whichever way. And so those of you looking at me, I mean you can um, try as much as possible to support us in any way. Um, if you can buy us um, a set of jerseys or uh, equipment, um, or maybe uh, football, netball, volleyball, any of those things, volley net, any of those things that we can use to train. And then if you can even come there and come and support us, we will be very much appreciative of that. Uh, so we are looking for those things. When we won the, uh, uh, the netball last two years, we showed it to you. So we are hoping that we will come back with some of these laurels or like the coach said, some certificate. Of participation and if we win some things so we are looking forward to those things
Sen beşer amat.